Sonnet 7. In the first line, there are the two words, gracious light. In this sonnet, it means the sun. Lo, in the Orient, when the gracious light lifts up his burning head, each under eye does homage to his new appearing sight, serving with looks his sacred majesty, and having climbed the steep up heavenly hill, resembling strong youth in his middle age, yet mortal looks adore his beauty still, attending on his golden pilgrimage. But when from highmost pitch with weary car, like feeble age, he reeleth from the day, the eyes for duteous, now converted are from his low tract, and look another way. So thou, thyself outgoing in thy noon, unlooked on, diest, unless thou get a son. I wonder if the use of the word car C-A-R was the first time that word was ever used in English verse. It means chariot. Sonnet 8 Music to hear. Why hearst thou music sadly? Sweets with sweets worn out, joy delights in joy. Why lovest thou that which thou receivest not gladly, or else receivest with pleasure thine annoy? If the true concord of well-tuned sounds by unions married do offend thine ear, they do but sweetly chide thee who confounds in singleness the parts that thou shouldst bear. Mark how one string, sweet husband to another, strikes each in each by mutual ordering, resembling sire and child and happy mother, who all in one, one pleasing note do sing, whose speechless song, being many, seeming one, sings this to thee. Thou single will prove none. Well, I'm going to do Sonnet 10 because I don't like Sonnet 9. Now, you can read it yourselves and make that decision, but I found it offensive, so I'm not going to do it because nobody's going to make me. So, Sonnet 10. For shame, deny that thou bearst love to any, who for thyself art so unprovident. Grant, if thou wilt, thou art beloved of many, but that thou none lovest is most evident. For thou art so possessed with murderous hate that against thyself thou stick'st not to conspire, seeking that beauteous roof to ruinate, which to repair should be thy chief desire. O oh, change that thought, that I may change my mind. Shall hate be fairer lodged than gentle love? Be as thy presence is, gracious and kind or to thyself at least kind-hearted prove. Make thee another self for love of me, that beauty still may live in thine or thee. <laughs>